This is a big goof bag. Oh, yeah, yeah, please do that. So we built the winery, uh, for completed construction in 2009, and essentially we're sitting under the Vaca Mountain Range right now, this very intense fractured bedrock that got pushed up out of the ocean floor, and we decided that that would be a pretty cool place to build a cave for, for wine storage. So we basically carved out uh, our little chunk uh, of the mountain, and we used a lot of dynamite to create this room, and uh, it was quite a bit of fun. Yeah, I could imagine. Let's <laughs> blow up some some areas and build a whole cave. Must have been quite the adventure. Yeah, the th there's certain things you learn about your personality when the dynamite comes out. <laughs> <laughs> So was there anything in the construction of this cave that turned out differently? Like you sort of probably mapped out or you had no idea? In all seriousness, we had a, a, a half a box of extra dynamite that was left over. This particular room, the library, was the result of uh, that half a box of extra dynamite. Got it. Never let some good dynamite go wasted. Right? Uh, that's what I say. Kind of like on. wine. Kinda exactly. Like wine. You got to yeah, finish absolutely. it off. As wine lovers here, I think all of us uh, appreciate that uh, wine is of the earth. It is of the elements, it's of, uh, of man. And um, uh, what could be more important than how you call it? Uh, uh, its origin is everything, in my view. I want to get your opinion on the 100-point system. Do you think it's here <laughs> to stay, or do you think it's going to uh, go in way of some other way of Talking about wines. I, I, I think the uh, I think the whole landscape of wine review is going through uh, a bit of a change right now. There's certainly um, all kinds of different movements and so forth going on with, uh, especially with the wine advocate and and with the whole blogger world and so forth. Um, so I think that there's a there's a, there is a kind of sea change that's going on, and that dovetails what's happening with um, consumer education. So. The general consumer out there uh, has more information to draw from and is becoming more wine savvy and sophisticated all the time. So that plays into this whole um, idea of wine review. Um, and so I think that there are more points to draw your information from and the consumers are starting to draw from more of those points. Do I think the 100 point scale is going to go away? Absolutely not. I think that the 100 point scale will be uh, it's proved to be the dominant form of how to rank and qualify. And it's a, it's a very flawed system, we understand that, but I think that it's here to stay. Um, we are essentially critical beings, and we do hierarchically evaluate and judge the world around us. And why should wine be any different than that? I'm not saying it's a perfect system, I'm not saying it always works, uh, but I think that it is a powerful communicating tool that will not just disappear overnight. One of the gems in this room that you may miss when you come to Hourglass is the gorgeous marble table. Because of the dark lighting here, you need to get up close, maybe with your iPhone or something, to take a look at the table. It has these gorgeous blue veining, uh, iridescent almost. Uh, so it's some of the most gorgeous marble that I've seen. Um, so last question, I hear that you have a rock and roll background. <laughs> So, what is your favorite song and wine pairing? Oh, favorite <laughs> song and wine pairing. Uh, there's so many to choose from, this is killing me. Um, you know, I just, I listen to a lot of Radiohead right now, and I would say you could pick anything off of In Rainbows uh, and, and, uh, and, and pair it with a, with a brooding, uh, uh, contemplative Cabernet. There you go. Great, fantastic. <laughs> Thank you so much. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Just, I feel like we, 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 we read message boards. As a small winery, it's a chance to have a personal relationship with my customers that I couldn't have in any other way. To cultivate truffles here in Napa,